Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Photo tutorial, and in this tutorial we will be going over the Liquify Persona. Now in Affinity Photo, just like in Affinity Designer, there are different personas, and in Affinity Photo there are four personas. There is the Photo Persona, the Liquify Persona, the Develop Persona, and the Export Persona. And in this tutorial we'll be going over the Liquify Persona. Now, in the Liquify Persona, there are a bunch of tools that allow you to alter your image. And when you go into the Liquify Persona, it'll bring up this grid, which they call a mesh, but it is just a grid telling Affinity Photo how to alter your picture. And there are an array of tools on the side panel right here. Obviously, there's the Liquify Hand, Zoom, Push Forward, Push Left, Twirl, Pinch, Turbulence, Mesh Clone, Reconstruct, and the freeze and thaw tool. Now, the main ones you're going to use are going to be the liquify push tool, the freeze, and the thaw. But you can play around with these tools and see what they do on your image, and that's why I have this lightning image. So if we're just going to go in, you can see I can just push around here with the push, uh, push left with there. Uh, this is the swirl, so it just allows you to swirl, and you can even increase different ways. So the speed at which, so if I can speed it up there, and now it's really fast, and we'll just twirl this lightning around. Uh, over here, there's the pinch tool, and it'll pinch your image. There's the turbulence tool, which kind of sh kind of shakes up the, your image. So there's that. There is the mesh tool, which you have to alt click to use, but uh, it's sort of like a globe effect. And then the undo. So this is an undo brush that allows you to return it, your grid to normal. But those are like the main uh, tools you can use for like backgrounds. I don't think you'd want to use this on um, images of people or real world uh, objects. These are kind of just like backgrounds you can play around with spacey themes and uh, just kind of creates cool uh, pictures. But the main tools again you're going to use are something like the push tool and the freeze and thaw tool. Now what the freeze and thaw tool are are actually a very interesting set of tools that allow you to fr basically freeze and thaw pixels. So if I'm going to come to the freeze tool which is a key command F and I can bring my brush size down, and I want to say I wanted to make her even thinner than she already is. So she's extremely thin now, but if I now freeze her arm, you can just freeze the pixels you want to. You can even bleed a little bit into the white, I mean, it's white, so it's not going to do anything, but if you come over to the push tool, I can now sort of push in on her, and uh, as you imagine, it's just freezing these pixels so they're not coming with the uh, liquify tools, and if I wanted to change something more, if I wanted to change how her hand positioned. I can thaw out the pixels with the thaw tool, but I think I'm going to keep it. So if I come over here and freeze this arm, be in mind of just doing this really quick, you kind of want to do more detail, but uh, and I can even bleed in to the white a little bit here. I can come over and increase the size of the brush and sort of push in, making her appear even thinner than she was. If I apply this, now obviously this looks a little bit off. There's little ruffles right here in the, the dress, and there's some things I could touch up here, but you can play around with it to make it look however you need to, but I think this is just a very interesting set of tools that you can freeze and thaw pixels. I used to work in um, Photoshop, and I don't know the latest versions of Photoshop, because I haven't been keeping up with the latest, but um, 
when I had it, I think it was CS10, definitely didn't have the, those tools. But uh, I love the tools. I mean, they work great for what you need. If you need to do work in marketing and you want to um, thin people down to, or uh, push people out to fit certain demographics, it's great for altering uh certain aspects of clothing so say there's too many ruffles and you want to get rid of some ruffles um it's great for adjusting things like even sunlight you can change with some of the uh, other tools like the pinch tool and the turbulence tool to make it just a really cool effect so uh that's what you can do with the liquify persona now uh it does require you to apply and as soon as you apply your cut out and put back into the photo persona but it's just an overall really useful tool uh for doing this i'm not sure if it will work on uh multiple layers that say you have a frequency separation or something like that i'm not sure if it would work on that i'll have to look into the help uh files but uh it works on single images that you flatten so if you flatten it and uh save it as that file and then bring it back into affinity photo it should work but um i'll have to look and deeper to the help files but there's a bunch of uh, other tools over here if you have the same sort of mesh that you use say you're working on some sort of product that needs uh, altering or like food for um, a menu in a restaurant uh, that you need a certain mesh saved which is just this grid you can save them and reload them there's uh you can reconstruct the mesh once you've altered it uh, add divisions or take them away so this will just kind of alter different things more drastically or not at all but um so you can make it up so just different ways it will alter it so that is the liquify persona in sort of overview uh if you'd like me to do more in-depth tutorials on all of the personas uh give it a thumbs up like subscribe and comment in the section below what you want me to do next so thank you